Welcome to a little bit of Common Crazy. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some great Father's Day gift ideas. Stick around. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and my goal here is to find more calm in all the crazy and put some order to the chaos. And today, I'm gonna to share with you some great Father's Day gift ideas. This is actually going to be a three-part series. So, I will give you some ideas today, but come back tomorrow and the next day to hear the rest of my ideas. Before we get started, if you haven't, could you please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you will be notified every time that I upload a video. I don't know about you, but shopping for the man in my life can be a bit challenging. I am at a loss more times than I am not, and I can know that I am not alone with this. It seems that the toys that they want are more expensive than our budget allows, or they already have what it is that they might want, and we just don't know what to give them. So I have put together a three-part series so that I can hopefully help you come up with some great, creative, inexpensive, and fun ideas for Father's Day. So let's get started. The first category that I wanted to tackle are for the sentimental fathers or the sentimental style gifts. So this works really well for first time fathers if this is their first Father's Day, for maybe the dad that just has everything and you don't know what to get him. So the first idea that I have for you is a shadow box and a picture frame. So this is something that you can pick up on Amazon and what you would need to do is you would do either their handprint or their footprint in the clay yourselves and attach that and everything you need is provided with this kit. And then you just take a photo of the child and you place it in there. I have done this for my husband for all three of my children. It is actually the gift that I have given him the first Father's Day with that particular child. So my second idea would be to do a family photo or a photo of just the children. Now you can hire somebody to do this or you can just go out with your phone and do it yourself and have it printed up. If you just get a photo and place it in a frame, it will give them a wonderful opportunity to put that photo on their desk at work, to hang it somewhere. It's just a really nice thoughtful gift for them to see their kids. Again, it's not something that needs to cost you very much. The third idea that I have for you is similar to a Mother's Day video that I posted and I'll link that up here. It is to record the children answering questions about their dad. Again, pull out your camera, pull out your phone and just ask questions and let the kids roll with their answers. It is just a fun idea and the great thing about it is it will be fun to go back and look at it over time. The fourth and final gift for this category, I am calling the gift of time. So for my husband, I purchased an hourglass and then I created a date for him with each one of our children. So I decided exactly what they would do. I paid for it, I planned it, I had everything ready. And that kind of an activity can cost as little or as much as you want it to do. And I was just looking for activities that I knew that my child and husband would both enjoy together. And I just think that's really special. We are so busy, all of us. And to have the gift of time and have that special time with somebody that we love is a gift that is absolutely priceless and one that I think dads would enjoy. The next category that I wanna give suggestions for is a little bit more on the random side. So one of the ideas that I had was if you have a movie loving man in your life, you can get him one of the movie passes at moviepass.com so that he can go to the movies any time of year. And I'll show you a picture here that you can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. I just think that this is a really great gift. It's something that he can continue to use throughout the year and just a fun little time for him to get away, whether it's if you purchase two, it can be with you, it can be with the kids. Just a really neat idea. Another suggestion that I have is you can either go to mancrate.com and look at the different ideas that they have there. It's really fun. They give really fun gift basket ideas, but a better budget friendly idea for you would be to create your own man crate. 
and kind of like your own gift basket and put together some different items the dad would love in that basket. So if you happen to have a man that loves to grill, maybe it's different sauces and spices and grill tools. If they love sports, maybe it's different sports memorabilia or sport wear, things like that. And you just put together a gift basket, but a man crate so that it's just a little bit more fun for them. I know my next idea is not necessarily the most original, but it's still something to think about. I don't know about you, but my husband doesn't necessarily like to go shopping for himself. He would rather just have the clothes in his closet. So this is another time that would be great to pick up a few new items to freshen up their wardrobe and just have them ready for the summer season that is coming. It's also not a bad idea to get them some of the undergarments that they may need because those get worn out too and need replacing. Like I said, this is gonna be a three-part series, so please make sure that you come back tomorrow and the next day so that you can check out all three videos and hear all of my different suggestions. I would love to hear from you. What are you getting for Father's Day? What suggestions do you have for Father's Day? What have you gotten in the past that you think is a big hit that we should all know about? Please share with us in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you tomorrow.